Hey guys, it's me Dave from the Codal back with another Harrison Jones Daily. Today we're going to be doing the Treasure Contract Amulet of Rahmar. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to jump into my own group. So where we're going to be heading is this northern part of the Spire. So we're going to probably end up taking uh, this flight point here in Shadow Moon Valley. And then we'll head north from there. Once you land at that uh, flight point, uh, we're obviously going to head north and make our way over to uh, this area to find some of the research notes. Once you get to the top of this hill, right uh, north of the flight point, having the uh, water walking ability is going to be a plus. It's going to make things a little bit easier to get there without having to struggle with uh, hillside and mobs. Now, what you're going to be looking for once you get up here into the area marked by the quest is research notes that are going to be on the ground. Uh, so you're going to have to kind of wander around a little bit until you find all of them. Let's see if we can grab this one without this guy noticing me. Nope. So you're going to want to collect five of those. Once you've gotten all five of them, uh, you'll be able to turn in that quest and move on to the next one, the first key, which is going to take us just a little bit south of the first area. We're going to be looking for uh, something that has, you're going to look for a, a circular gold compass pattern on the ground and click it and you'll be able to complete that quest. So let's move on to that. And if it's uh, if you came in from this side over here, it's going to be up this little pathway uh, up in here, and you'll see it's right there. So let's jump over here. Little tiny guy right there. And we're going to grab that. Finish that off. And grab the next quest, the second key. Now this is going to take us east a little bit. It's going to be at the bottom of a waterfall, and it's going to look just like the, the first key, like the actual item is going to look like the first key. So we're going to head... Over here, to the bottom of the waterfall, grab that second one. Now as you're leaving the area, you'll notice that this is the waterfall that I mentioned. And you can see right there, there's the second key. So let's go down there. Grab that second key, finish out that quest, and move on to the final key. Now the final key is going to take us down the river a ways where the water strider is going to help you get there a little bit quicker. Uh, there's going to be a cave uh, down here at the bottom, so let's head down there. Once you get down here, there's going to be a little waterfall that you're going to jump down, and then when you turn around, you're going to notice that here's the cave that we're looking for. We're going to head in here, and you'll see there's the device that we're looking for. So we can do this without grabbing these guys. Yep. And grab the Apexis device, which should be the last of the quest chain. Now where we're going to head is further down the river. Um, so we need to get out of this cave. And once we get down there, we're going to end up clicking on uh, statues. There's three statues that need to be faced towards the center. Uh, once you face them they turn 90 degrees with every click once you face them towards the center there's gonna be a portal that you're gonna take and uh, we'll do that once we get there so you can see here here are the three uh, statues you need to turn them so they face the center and with like I said with each click they turn 90 degrees click them a couple of times to get them to face the center And uh, once they all face the center, they're going to create a portal that we're going to take. And uh, there will be a fight once we take get through that portal, so be prepared. And we're going to end up fighting right here. After a little bit of RP. So we're going to kill the aspect of Rukhmar. 
not a difficult fight like uh, most of these these uh, chains. Um, I mean, healer gear, but it's specced into Boom King, so not optimized, but it's not uh, not too difficult to avoid his attacks. I really haven't had to move much. dead we obviously need to loot him and now we can head back to the garrison to turn this in so once you get back you can walk back out here turn it into Rockhan finish out that quest chain and uh, for me this will probably end up my my six this will finish out my six quests to get uh, Harrison Jones as a follower for you you might have to do a few more but uh, hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and check out the other uh, quests and quest chains in this achievement to get uh, Harrison Jones as a follower. Uh, like always, guys, good luck and have fun.